So I'm going to be sharing with you a piece of code that I've been using to track the performance of my GraphQL resolvers. Now before I do, I wanted to mention what I started with, and that was Apollo Tracing. So this is a library that Apollo created that is kind of a standard that they created for uh, performance tracing the resolvers. And so you can use this and hook it with the Apollo platform and basically it will handle the performance stuff for you and you can see some really nice charts and they get really in depth on the individual resolvers, which ones, uh, how long they took. And what I mean by that is what they'll do is it'll take the parent level resolver, tell you how long that takes to resolve, and then it'll also go down the entire graph or the entire tree um, and tell you how, how long the ID field took to resolve and the email field took to resolve and it'll do every single field um, in there. And what I found with when I started with that is it worked great for small things but when I had large resolvers or I was running sending back a lot of data in general I just felt like there was a lot of overhead with the amount of logging that was happening uh, with Apollo tracing. But nonetheless, I recommend starting with Apollo tracing and checking that out because this is a great way to performance test. I just found it was a little added, uh, some overhead to be able just to log all the performance of all the resolvers, just the amount of data that you can pump through it. But anyway, uh, I'll show you now what I have been using. So this is a very simple function that I use, and this is with Express, but you can build the same thing with whatever server you're using. So this is the little piece of middleware that I'm running, and you'll notice it's something that I add before I call apply middleware with Apollo. And so what it does is I start by taking the time whenever a request comes on the slash GraphQL route. So I grab the time uh, with the process, and then I wait till the response has finished, and when the response has finished, um, I basically check whether that has a body, aka there was some GraphQL request that happened, there was some data in it, and also that there's an operation name. So this is something interesting that I'm doing that um, the operation name is this thing right here. And so sometimes queries don't have operation names, but all of mine do have operation names. So I'm specifically making sure that there is one and I'm logging that. Um, and so what I do is uh, I get the end time and I believe this is either in microseconds or nanoseconds. I can't remember, um, probably microseconds, um, but I convert this over to milliseconds and then I just log the output. So every single resolver that goes through, um, I just log the parent level. So this will be run once per resolver or once per request um, and not possibly like hundreds of times like with Apollo tracing. Uh, so this was like a lot less information, but it was enough. This is as much as I really wanted was that a, how much did a single resolver take to, to resolve. Uh, and you'll notice uh, I'll talk about the logger, what I'm using to actually log this in a second, because uh, it's good to note you don't want to just do console logs for stuff like this because console logs can slow down your web server. Um, so you want to use a logger. Anyway, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, I'm printing out the uh, just this is just the type of message I'm sending and then the name it, operation name and then how long it took so if I open up my log and I go over to GraphQL playground I can run some requests so here I just ran login um, and we can see what this logged out so I can see that the name was login and it took 141 milliseconds to do the login and I can run me and I can see how long that took and I can refresh and this will actually send an introspection query so I can see that that got fired off, took 60 milliseconds and so on. So for each request that it gets made, I can see how long um, that took to, to compute. Uh, and so that's what I've been using and it's been a nice little function. It's not too complex and uh, it's worked quite well. Uh, so what am I using for logging for this? So I think the most popular one for Node is Winston, um, but it felt a little bit bloated to me. I didn't feel like I need all this stuff and it was quite a large package. So I found this other one called Pino, which is quite small and it's worked quite well for me. Um, and I'd like the simplicity of it. And uh, that's what I've been using. It's worked real well. It's supposed to be pretty performant. And uh, I just do Pino and pinologger.info. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. That is my setup for tracking the performance and seeing how long my resolvers take.